the movie begins with Eric Sloan in a kickboxing match. Eric, the heavyweight kickboxing world champion, is full of energy while the crowd is also excited and cheering for Eric. After throwing powerful kicks and brutal punches, Eric successfully manages to beat his opponent in the fourth round. In the press conference after the match, Eric reveals that because there aren't any equal opponents for Eric in the USA anymore, he had decided to fly to Thailand with his younger brother, Kurt Sloan. The scene then transitions to Bangkok, Thailand, where we get a glimpse of the contrasting culture and environment. Eric effortlessly manages to charm a local girl with flowers and escorts her to their hotel. That's when Kurt reminds him that he is supposed to challenge Tong Po, the reigning Thai kickboxing champion, in a week. Soon, Eric starts preparing for his match against the formidable Thai kickboxing champion, while also teaching Kurt some fighting tactics. During a workout session, the brothers reflect on their upbringing, reminiscing about their shared childhood, their dreams of martial arts glory, and the unbreakable bond that has always defined their relationship. The duo arrives at the location where Eric is scheduled for a match. 30 minutes before the match, Kurt goes to get some ice for his brother when he unexpectedly comes across the person Eric is up against. He's surprised by the man's crazy look and a forceful kick that sends a concrete pillar flying off. Kurt rushes back to Eric and begs him not to fight, but Eric dismisses any concerns, claiming he's the best. The match begins with both fighters entering the ring. Eric is confident in his abilities and enters the fight with high expectations. And since it's a fight between the two kickboxing champions, the crowd anticipates an intense match. Once the fight begins, it becomes clear that Tong Po is an incredibly skilled and ruthless fighter. He quickly gains the upper hand with his powerful and unrelenting kicks, brutal punches, and a variety of Mai Tai techniques. This is a brutal fight, and Tong Po is merciless in his approach. As the fight progresses, Eric is overwhelmed by Tong Po's aggressive attacks. Kurt senses his brother's impending defeat and attempts to discourage him, but Eric's stubbornness forces him back into the ring. He then takes a severe beating, with Tong Po landing a devastating blow to his spine. All of this is witnessed by Kurt who, when he tries to intervene, is brutally thrown out of the ring. Tong Po rips apart the championship belt, after which a paralyzed Eric is thrown into the street on a stretcher. In a desperate attempt to save his brother, Kurt hails a cab, but because of the language gap, the driver struggles to understand what he's saying. That's when Winston Taylor, a retired United States Army Special Forces soldier, steps in to help him. He helps Kurt pick up Eric's body off the road and takes him to the hospital where the nurse informs them they can only visit Eric the next morning. Kurt spends a restless night in the hospital corridor, worrying about his brother's condition. The next morning, the doctor delivers the grim news. Eric is paralyzed and won't be able to walk, requiring an extended hospital stay of three months. Upon hearing this devastating news, Kurt is overwhelmed with sorrow and he breaks down in tears. Kurt is confronted with the truth that Eric's promising kickboxing career is now over and his life will never be the same. At this point, all Kurt can think about is seeking revenge against Eric's assailant. But Taylor urges Kurt to consider the consequences of his actions, emphasizing that fighting Tong Po is no simple task. The only way to exact revenge is to confront the kickboxer in the ring, but this raises doubts about Kurt's ability to compete against a world champion. As the weight of the grim diagnosis sinks in, Kurt wanders around Thai temples, struggling to come to terms with his brother's situation. That's when he stumbles upon a local gym. He goes up to the coach and tells him that he wants to learn Mai Tai and fight against Tong Po while pointing at a picture of him. Just then, everyone, including small kids, bursts into laughter at his audacity. Outside the gym, Kurt finds Taylor waiting for him. Knowing how serious Kurt is about seeking revenge on Tong Po, he suggests that they should look for Xi'an, a wise and skilled martial artist who is known to be an expert in Mai Tai. But Tyler has a condition. They can only visit Xi'an if Kurt agrees to go to a strip club for some lighthearted fun. Later that night, 
they go to a nearby club where they get drunk and share stories from their lives. Taylor tells Kurt about Tong Po's boss, Freddie Lee, a criminal figure who manages Tong Po and arranges fights for him. Out of curiosity, Kurt asks Taylor why he's helping him. Taylor explains that he has a friend in Nam who died needing his help. Taylor's absence during a crucial moment left a lasting scar on his conscience. It was a mistake he vowed never to repeat. So to make up for his past mistakes, he decided that he's going to help Kurt. As dawn breaks over the Thai landscape, Kurt and Taylor embark on a journey through the dense, untamed jungle. They navigate narrow paths and rugged terrain, surrounded by the sights and sounds of nature. The journey leads them to an isolated spot where they will find the enigmatic Xi'an. Hidden inside the jungle, Xi'an lives in a small hut. Before leaving, Taylor advises Kurt not to upset Xi'an. Upon approaching the house, Kurt unintentionally triggers a trap, leaving him hanging upside down. Kurt asks Xi'an to help him down, but Xi'an wants to know who he is before letting him down. Kurt quickly comes to the point and reveals that he wants to learn Mai Tai. Surprisingly, Xi'an knows how badly an American kickboxer lost to Tong Po, and Kurt reveals that the defeated fighter was in fact his brother. He lets Kurt down and advises him to stay patient since revenge is a dangerous motive. Kurt discloses the fact that he has fought before and that he has a good defense. But within seconds, Xian figures out that Kurt knows nothing. Despite Kurt's pleas and urgency in his voice, Xian stays calm, acknowledging the severity of the situation. He then takes Kurt to the village and grabs groceries from Miley's store because he's not interested in making a decision on an empty stomach. Kurt walks into the village and arrives at a modest yet vibrant place where the local community gathers to get their daily essentials. At the store, Miley informs Kurt about her uncle's decision to quit teaching, which is why she finds it strange that Xi'an agreed to train him. Miley appears a little shocked after hearing that Kurt is planning to fight Tong Po. She reveals that Tong Po runs this province with the help of Freddie Lee and that they have to pay an allowance to live there. Moments later, two thugs show up and try to steal her belongings. Fearing it will lead to trouble, Miley urges Kurt to do nothing. However, Kurt intervenes and overpowers the bullies. After the thugs leave, Miley rebukes Kurt, worrying that she will now get in trouble. Enraged, she provides him with the groceries that Xi'an had requested. As Kurt leaves the store, he is left with a sense of uncertainty, knowing that his actions may have unforeseen consequences. Kurt returns to Sheehan's hut, where he finds Taylor waiting for him. After making sure that Kurt really wants to stay here, he drops off his belongings and leaves after playfully telling him that he's gonna regret his decision. The next morning, Kurt's training begins with a rude awakening, marked by a splash of water and a change of clothes. This is the moment when Kurt's commitment to his training is tested, as he must embrace the relentless discipline and physical demands that lie ahead. The intensity of Kurt's training gradually escalates, pushing him to the limits of his endurance and determination. Xi'an, a discerning mentor, recognizes Kurt's potential. The training regimen consists of a wide array of martial arts techniques, each designed to refine Kurt's skills and deepen his connection to the art of Mai Tai. As the intensity of the training escalates, Kurt and Miley develop a romantic interest, leading to a kiss. On the other hand, Tong Po continues to claim victims. Meanwhile, Kurt faces a really tough challenge during his training, a huge palm tree. Xi'an tells him to kick the tree, testing how strong and determined he is. With each kick, Kurt pushes himself to be stronger until the point that it starts hurting. Xi'an declares Kurt unfit for his home and announces the end of the training. However, Kurt refuses to leave. His constant kicking shows how committed he is, proving his strong spirit. Xi'an invokes the memory of Kurt's brother, which reignites his determination, so by using all his strength and not giving in, Kurt finally kicks the palm tree so hard that it crashes down with a loud noise. This falling tree shows how much he has transformed during training. After the rigorous training sessions, Kurt's journey took an unexpected turn when Sheehan decided to take him to a local bar for some relaxation. 
In an attempt to break the intensity of the training routine, Sheehan encouraged Kurt to unwind by dancing. The rhythmic beats surrounded Kurt as he moved gracefully to the music, catching the attention of a group of thugs in the bar. Without warning, the thugs attacked Kurt. To Kurt's surprise, he effortlessly overpowered the attackers using the skills he had acquired during his training. Kurt turned to find Sheehan, only to find him engaged in negotiations with the thugs. Confused by this unexpected turn of events, Kurt soon learned that Sheehan had deliberately provoked the thugs to test Kurt's ability to handle unexpected challenges. After that, Sheehan convinces Freddie Lee to arrange a preliminary match between Kurt and another fighter. His opponent, faced with Kurt's powerful kicks, was immediately incapacitated, resulting in a swift knockout. The crowd, impressed by Kurt's skills, erupted into chants of White Warrior, underscoring the respect he had earned through his dedication and hard work. Not just that, Kurt's victory also earns him a match against Tong Po. As night fell, the anticipation of Kurt's upcoming fight filled the air. Meanwhile, a newspaper headline caught the attention of Eric, Kurt's brother, sparking fury within him. There was a time when Eric was a celebrated boxer gracing the headlines, and now the spotlight had shifted to Kurt. He arrives at Kurt's residence the next morning, planning to convince Kurt not to fight against Tong Po. Later, a messenger arrives and it is revealed that they will fight in the ancient way. Both fighters wrap their hands in hemp rope, which is then coated in resin and dipped in broken glass to make them deadly weapons. Freddie Lee arranges to have the fight fixed and borrow $1 million from the Thai crime syndicate's boss, Tao Leo, in order to bet on Tong Po. The situation escalates as Miley falls victim to an abduction and assault planned by Tong Po's followers. Miley is beaten and raped by Tong Po, while Eric is kidnapped so that Freddie Lee can blackmail Kurt into losing the fight. On the day of the match, the fighters immerse their bandages in resin and shards of broken glass, creating an atmosphere charged with intensity and anticipation. During this ritualistic preparation, Kurt remained composed. Later, Freddie Lee approached Kurt with a proposition, suggesting that Kurt should deliberately lose every round but last until the end if he wants to see his brother alive. Soon the fight begins with Kurt taking a beating and falling to the mat. Meanwhile, Xi'an is on a mission to rescue Eric by infiltrating the location where he was detained. However, Xi'an gets caught, and just when things look bad, Taylor shows up just in time. Taylor defeats the bad guys and makes sure Eric is safe. Tong Po, relentless as ever, slashes Kurt's abdomen, splattering blood everywhere. After this, he intentionally tells Kurt about Miley's assault, which further provokes him. Just as the final round was about to start, Eric shows up signaling that he was safe. The crowd joined in, chanting White Warrior in Thai. With the pressure of blackmail lifted, Kurt asks Miley to remove his bandages. With an extraordinary display of speed and power, Kurt launches a relentless attack of strikes on Tong Po, eventually throwing him out of the ring. Just then, Tong Po grabs a fire torch and attacks Kurt who skillfully dodges all his attacks. At this point, Tong Po attempts to run away, but Kurt goes up to him and delivers a knockout blow before kicking Freddie Lee in the face. Everyone, including Xi'an, Eric, Taylor, and Miley celebrated the victory. With that being said, that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching.